Well, boys, it's been a while since I've done a Tuya knife. Tuya knife. We're back to Tuya knives. They've got some new models out. They've got some new models out. Got this from my buddy Dave. Dave Warren at Tuya Knives, you know, just a couple states over from me now. Now that I'm not in Arizona anymore, I'm in Arkansas. What do you think, Kingsman? Version 2, um, I'll let you know. Uh, this one's got my Carta on it. You can get it in carbon fiber, in that Zerk Timascus. They only made a few in that. But, um, wow. It's still got the same old drop, uh, which is nice. It, it's got a really, really nice drop to this blade. And not all knives do. Really, the majority of them do not have a drop like this. Okay? That just, that's really nice. I really like it. This has got a titanium body to it. This is the micarta. Okay? And titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. I don't know if they're titanium. Oh, let me, let me get my magnet over here. See if, eh, no, no. Looks like the hardware steel. Okay. Uh, and then on top of that, body screws. Wow, we need to go to number eights. And I'm just going to, anything that's not a number eight body screw, I'm going to mention that at least. I prefer that. I don't know about you guys, but sure, a lot nicer on my tools to have number eights. It's, it just makes contact so much better uh, and problems with rounding out the insides makes that uh, way less likely than if you get this. And you can see the end of this number six here just really starting to round off. Thank God I got about six more of those tips to replace, so I'm good. Um, this has got the bolsters that are the moon landing thing. That's really cool. That's, uh, it's on the moon right there. It's over the moon. Uh, what I like about the Kingsman, though, basically is the design. Okay, and the designer's name, it's a Chinese name, and it uh, starts with C and ends with H. I mean, you know, his last name starts with H. Um, and I disclosed that in the first video I did on the Kingsman version 1. This is the Kingsman version 2. And... If you go to their site, and I'll give you the link, you can look at the different, uh, you know, they had this silver carbon fiber, then they had the the Timascus, is, is what I'm calling it, and then the carbon fiber, marble carbon fiber, okay? So, and uh, let's see, 269, I'll, I'll see if I can get a discount code down there, because I know Dave has them available, so I'll get a discount code down there. And you can save some additional money if you want to buy one. Uh, so, and they're saying this is, you know, maybe a thinner behind the edge and more belly on it. Okay, 3.9 ounces, which is good. All right. So, uh, and they were limited. I mean, if you look on the inside here, this is number 10 of 46. It's in M390. And they go M390, 60 to 62 Rockwell. Uh, the Kingsman, uh, not the Kingsman, did we do the Kingsman or was it the Hive that we checked last time? I mean, this was a year and a half ago or whatever. And yes, it was a 60. So it, it was in the range that they're stating, okay? And it was M390. So uh, that's all true. Uh, here's the hardened plastic box and you open it up and you got... The little plastic sleeve, that kind of thing. Um, and this being under four ounces, and let's see if it's 3.9. Ah, 3.81. Okay. Well, this is the micarta, so it, you know, it probably changes with uh, depending on the materials. 107.9, so basically 108. Okay, okay. So, actually, it's very lightweight, but it's not that small, okay? Did you see the information there when I was showing it to you? Like 3.6 inch blade. So, that's nice at a, you know, 92, 3, whatever millimeter. 
eight and a quarter overall. Uh, actually, oh, you know, eight and three eighths out to that end at a little over 21 centimeters. So lightweight, great drop. There's your lockup. 35 to 40 percent there hardened steel insert inside there you can see that oh never mind that was that was not this knife it was not this knife but it could have been because it's supposed to be very sharp because it's thinner behind the edge and got a big bigger belly and yes okay so it is sharp out of the box but, you know, the thing about uh, Dave Warren, he's the guy here in the USA. So, he's going to handle your needs, okay? So, I, you can say what you want about a lot of these other knives that are made in China, but it, when it comes down to do you need a part or service or something, Dave's here, okay? And he, he turns it around. So, he's ever-present out on the social media, got the Instagram, the Facebook group, the, the whole thing, and the, and the website. So I'll give you links to that. And, you know, that's a big deal. Uh, here's contoured scales. Okay. Now, I guess if I was going to bitch and moan about anything, it'd be, they're not number eights here. And it'd be nice to have number eights. Just just my thought on the, on the situation. I really like number eights. And, you know... I get the little wee-haw hardened steel German bits, but after a while, they're going to get rounded off. And then, you know, you get into a situation and you can start augering out or rounding out that. And then you're never going to open that up. And the bigger it is on the inside, the less likely that's going to happen because you have a larger bit. And it's not as likely to get rounded out. So... I mean, that's my thing, and they're doing that on Sencut and Civivi, and they're doing it on Kubi, and they're doing it on other knives, and they need to, you know. So, that's, that's that. Now, wow, nice drop, though. Nice drop, okay? Now, let's see what we got for blade stock on here and just kind of get some general parameters on there. And we know the length, and we know 3.7, 3. Point, oh, come on, let's get it straightened up here. Right up, okay, 3.5, okay. Uh, 0.13 of an inch. Mm, 0.52 on the thickness of the handle, 13.4 millimeters. So it's, it's, it's a reasonable handful here, for sure. A little bit longer than the paramilitary two. Definitely the blades longer. And you got a little cutaway in here. I guess you know you can you can get up there on that uh, as well for close in work. I like the fact that they did this little design influence here on the blade. I like that. I think that adds to the intrigue along with this what I call, you know, surface of the moon type thing. Uh, I like that. This as well, this bolster rolling down, you know, kind of being defined by that line as well. Got a backspacer on it, and they didn't just make it plain. They have lines in here and stuff. Um, and look at here for your lanyard and or, you know, striking, you know, so it can be used for several different things. That's nice as well. And ceramic uh, detent, ceramic uh, bearings. And we will take this apart, take a look inside. By the way, he also sent this to me at the same time. And this is the Hive version 3. This is the Vahi Dinkman uh, design of the Hive. It's got these little honeycomb things in here. This is carbon fiber. This is titanium, but it looks the same because they made this black and they also put the honeycomb pattern on it on the back as well. So really this, this is okay with me because it looks the same. And that's all I want it to do is to look the same. I don't want it to be a half and half, okay? Half silver and a, you know titanium and then half as a black carbon fiber or a G10 or whatever. 
But in this case, they made an effort to really unite the front and the, ha and the back together. And this is a hollow grind, and it's really thin behind the edge, got a lot of belly. So you may want to look at that too. That is also out. This one, of course, has a really small scratch on the pivot. And so this is, I mean, he sent this to me to put on my, to put on my, uh, you know, YouTube, but also to go on the knife sale that I'm going to have in late January, early February. So this will be on there. This is like a factory second because of the scratch, but you like the ergos and everything. So several new knives and, and you know they've kind of been you know putting things out here and there as time goes but this is kind of the big bang with these two models coming out like this in uh upgraded or, or revised you know revised versions very nice piercing slicing lightweight easy to carry still full size etc and ergos yeah good Good. I mean, there's really not much to worry about here. This is pretty smooth. Uh, this pass through here is really easy to get to and disengage. And the good thing is, is the flipper tab hits you in the thumb. And so it makes it so fidget friendly. And the drop is so nice. I mean, I mean, you're just rolling it around and it's really following you around and settling right in. You know what I'm saying? Centered, no blade play, no lock rock, nothing like that. So, really nice uh, because Dave is here in the U.S. And so I've been able to access him to get things like I got extra scales for one of the other knives that I had. And, you know, just able to go back and forth and get little things done here and there that I couldn't do if it was another Chinese brand. You got a little, uh, you know, milling here. So nice little landing spot for your finger. You can pretty much push button this as well, by the way. See that? Uh, detent is not overly uh, stiff. So, but it's really so smooth. It's just a nice, easy, lazy flip out there. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just coming open that easy. You gotta, you gotta give it a little bit. So okay, that's good. I mean, that's that's what I would say that it's dialed in pretty well. Got a nice little machine uh, satin grind on the blade, and overall fit and finish on two your knives is really good. And I got a bruiser. You know what? I bet I don't have my bruiser laying on the table anymore. I've had it sitting there for two years. I think I moved it over to a different drawer now. Uh, but, uh, and you know, it was one I'd pick up and use a lot. Because check the bruiser out. I mean, that's really cool as well. But yeah, this, this knife's good. Uh, reverse grip. Oop. Knocked my stand over. Yeah, that feels good as well. Uh, balance. Where are we? Okay. That's nice. Well, let's see what we can do to this little puppy. Obviously, we're not coming in from the front, are we? So, uh, no, no problem uh, popping that loose. And, uh, ah. Well, we got something squared off in here, don't we? Right there. So that's probably why the whole pivot didn't turn. And let's see if, well, let's take the pocket clip off, which that's not difficult either. It's not like it's all hyper locked down with, uh, with thread locker or anything. Okay, pull this off and come on, buddy. Um, wow. Uh, I don't know if this is longer than this necessarily or, it, or, yeah, I think it is. Okay. I was just saying if it just sat down in that hole a little deeper, but, uh, we're going to leave them alone right where they're at. Now, you, you're the last guy, the last guy. 
and take him out. Okay. So we got our screws over here. Let's get them out of the way and let's get ready to rumble. And can we rumble? Are we going to be able to? And what have I left off here? This is kind of like I've forgotten something. And I don't know if it's just that it's a tight fit. Is there some cross through? Okay, let's just loosen this side up. Let's take the screws off of this side. Now it all fell apart. Where was I coming through and what was I holding on to? I don't know. Okay, but it's apart. So I guess, uh, you know, all those fails take the screws on the presentation side, on whatever opposite side, take them off and go that way. And let's see if these are the same. These are the same size. Okay, here's the, here's the pivot. It's D-shaped, so we're good. Okay, it's a one-piece job right there. Blade stop. And we've got uh, stainless steel uh, washers. Uh, the washer facing was more like this, and the washer against the inside of the scale was this. Huh, okay. Um, oh, and this one just fell out, didn't it? Okay, there it is. The same, though. Okay. Uh, it dropped really good, so I guess I'm going to put it back that way. And here's the uh, ceramic bearings. All right. And then, of course, we got a hardened steel insert over travel stop as well, and then a ceramic uh, detent ball. Otherwise, we're good. And, oh, now you're willing to come out. Now you're willing to part ways. No, I don't want you to now. Forget it. Well, you wanted to hold on to that, didn't you? Hold on. Wow. You'd have thought that this, this backside scale would have come off easier than that. But it sure as hell didn't want to, did it? So here's your little pass through. I'm going to leave you alone now. All right. We're done. Uh, let's put it back together. What the hell? And you could, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Get some oil on your fingers and then just do that. You will darken the uh, micarta down. You could do that if you want to, you know, just completely get some food grade mineral oil and, uh, and go across there. Of course, your normal oils in your hands will darken it over a period of time, but you can see how I smudged right there uh, okay and is anything gonna move there nope okay let's put you in then there's no logo we have to center or anything and then the smooth side there is gonna go back against that scale and the little I don't know what I'm gonna call that inside track it's gonna stay to the outside and this will go forward okay Let's put our uh, blade stop. Let's throw some bearings on here s some point in time. And let's throw a blade on here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Thought I had this wiped off. Okay. Spin it around this way. Okay, we're good. Here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put that right on there so we don't have any confusion. And uh, here's now, now it wants to fall off every three seconds. This one here. Seriously? Come here. Uh, I'm not seeing any, anything that's uh, 
gonna prevent us from putting this together. Okay, so we're good. And we gotta put our pivot screw on. Let's get our little driver here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now we have these two little screws that need to go on here. And we're getting there. And there we go. Okay. Um, pocket clip. Could go right back in here. And that's not a problem. And go, go, go. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that bit's starting to get a... A little worn, a little rounded. I better look for another bit here pretty soon. Throw that other one away. Okay, now I think I got some work to do because I'm right up against it here. Okay. Now it looks centered. Let me see, where are we? Okay. Yes. Just where we were. So what do you think? Um, you know, hey, if you're gonna go part way, might as well go the full way, right? What do you think? You like that better? Interesting, though. I thought, well, what the hell? What do you think? Grease it up. Grease it up. Let's try and pull off some of the excess. Yikes. Um, now let's put my pocket clip back on. I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to take a look at what it, it looks like when you do, um, you know, put a little bit of oil on the uh, micarta. Okay, are we tight? And we're not tight yet here. Okay, we're tight. Okay. So what do you think? Like that better? Worser? Well, probably doesn't matter. It'll probably lighten out some anyhow over time. But I just thought it was worth a a shot just to kind of see what it'd be like. We kind of like it. All right. Kingsman. Version 2. To your knife. Maybe you might want to get one. Look for my discount uh, below. There's only going to be so many of them made. Okay. Obviously. I mean, they're numbered in here. So, uh, check it out. Great service, great guy, Dave Warren and his family. Uh, great to deal with. Nice design. Incredible drop. And I'm going to leave you guys to it. Love them knives. Yes, it is. You guys, stay sharp.